Brats, glasses and virtual reality. Can you name a more awful duo? Now there is companies that have solutions and the solutions are getting cheaper and cheaper all the time. I like it. Reloptics sent us some VR prescription lenses. Let's test these things out. bucks for some prescriptions, at least milder prescriptions, is all these are gonna cost you, including shipping. That's not a bad price at all, especially I think the first set I got for the Oculus Rift back in the day. Uh, <laughs> I just ripped something off I wasn't supposed to. I did. <laughs> Crap. Whoopsie. Oculus Rift first set I got for Nat back in the day, I think was like, I wanna say like $120. And that wasn't even that expensive. So Reloptix sends you a really cool case for theirs. It's pretty big. I mean, if you're gonna pack these on a trip or something, it's a little big, but it is really cool. Looks almost like a mini gun case. We have a left lens. Now Reloptix's claim to fame right now is that they have gone and made these super thin. I've got to say the lens itself is pretty thin, although it looks like the piece that hooks onto your Quest is still sizably thick. We'll test that out though, we'll see. So we got a left and we got a right. And these are pretty cool because if you have a whole family and everybody wears glasses, you get different sets of these and then you always leave the adapter in there and then each person can just toss their own personal lenses in real quick, play VR, take those back out and the adapters always stay in, pretty sweet. So first one I'm gonna try and install these into is a Bobo VR F2 facial interface with the fan on it. Let's see how these install on here. See if these just snap right in just fine. If you've never installed a set of these, basically there's three little grooves on each side and they should just snap right into place. I fear my facial interface might be getting in the way a little bit. <laughs> Okay, not so bad once you get it aimed right, but it is a little tricky to get it aimed right. Whew. It's a little harder to get that in there than I would have expected. Might have been on me, I might have just been aiming it wrong, but I definitely felt like I was having a harder time than I wanted to. So once you have those in there, you should probably take one of the cleaning cloths they give you and clean them again, because putting those on, I definitely shoved my finger on the lens a little bit. Nice shot. Nice big cloth they include, I like that. One thing I'm kind of wondering, is this gonna affect the field of view at all? Because I feel like it is covering a good portion of the lens. Like you look at one versus the other there, and the ring that comes in is pretty thick from edge to edge here. So I do feel like maybe that's covering. Let me chest, let me, ugh, let me chest that. Let me check that really quick. Oh, there's that meta symbol. I just liked the Oculus symbol because Oculus meant VR and Facebook meant social networking. Meta, I don't really know yet what exactly that means, but I feel like I liked that VR had its own part of it, you know? It's all the same thing now, bro. <laughs> Get on the train. Controller's not connected. I have too many controllers sitting here. It still seems like I can see edge to edge. So what I think, even though it does look like it's taking up less, my eye is close enough to the lens that I am still able to see around it far enough that it's not really losing any field of view. So that's good news, but I definitely, I can tell this is a lot closer to my eye than what I had there before. So I'm curious how that's gonna feel with these lenses now on top of that too. So once you have those installed, it should be as easy as lining up your left and your left, and it should just drop in magnet in place. Am I doing something wrong? Aha. So that is a little detail. The VR waves I'm used to having, they don't look as sleek because they let you see the magnets, but because you can see the magnets, it's more clear which side goes in versus out. So it looks like you want your R for your right lens facing out. And they do fall in there pretty easily. I like that. I mean, you can kind of, you can kind of drop it in. And if you, if you get it right, it'll end up magneting itself on. Probably shouldn't just drop it in there, but hey, I like that. And everything is clear and nicely visible. Something that's different about these, the way that they've made them so thin, you get less of a fish eye. So what I mean by that is with the VR waves that I'm used to using, if I go like this and look at one single word on here, the word kind of gets bigger and smaller based on how I'm looking, which could possibly affect people with motion sickness. So I think that this is better in that it's not giving me this fishbowl world warping effect. And it's also not interacting with my eyes or my nose at all like I kind of assumed it might because of that extra height so it really is fitting me really nicely face shape and nose shape can differ there man clear and nice 
One thing I'm noticing it's a little distracting, there is a little bit of glare. So you now added another layer of glass in there. And what's happening is off to the side here, there is some light bleeding through here, and I see it glaring on the lens. It's not terrible when the headset's on, but because I'm in a very well-lit room, it is shining in there. And if I had a facial interface that came all the way to the side of my face that didn't have this hole, it would probably be better too. But even though it has the anti-glare coating, there is still a little bit of glare happening. Wow. Wow. It is so nice when you're used to having contacts and all the time to just get in with lenses and be able to see clearly and not have the dry eyes and things that you get used to having with contacts in VR. Pretty good. A few, a few minor issues, like I told you there. One thing I did, I know they wanted me to check, was how it fit with another facial interface. So I'm gonna swap this out for a Kiwi one. Will you stay like that? Yeah, you will. I got my old Kiwi shark mouth one, if you remember this. Honestly, it's a lot nicer with the Kiwi than it is with the Bobo VR because the Kiwi really has, it has a really thick pad here, so it gives me complete light blockage. And just like the Bobo VR, no problems getting them in or out. And even installing these with the Kiwi facial interface is a little easier. I feel like these were made to go with the Kiwi rather than the Bobo, honestly. Well, optics, pretty good job. I definitely do wonder, could this part be a little thinner? Probably, these are probably very durable this way, but I do wonder, could it be a little thinner, maybe poke out a little bit less, and then that way it would also help avoid people's noses on the inside. The magnets are nice and solid. Once it hits on there, you feel like it's gonna stay on. And maybe that the edge could be a little more flush. It would just feel a little more premium if these edges lined up a little better. Good lenses for a pretty affordable price. So if you're interested in real optics, I will leave a link in the description for those of you who wanna check them out and maybe get some lenses of yours. I am testing several sets of lenses at the moment. So you might wanna hang out and wait, kinda see how those other reviews go. And then at the end, we'll have one big video of all the different ones too. Hang out for that. I wanna say thank you for coming out and being here with me today, and I will see you in another reality. I'm hoping by the third one of these today, I'll have a little bit more direction. I felt like that was a little rambly.